If your pet's eyes fill with sadness at the sight of you going to work, then imagine what it's like for animals that have been separated from their owners for long periods of time. It sucks for us humans too, being apart from our animal friends, but space and time don't seem to be a factor in these next videos. True love is in the air for these animal human buddies. <laughs> Whether it's an alligator who plays dress up, a cuddly camel with separation anxiety, or a sea lion who wants a piggyback, 15 animals reunited with their owners after years. Camel hugs owner. Humans have used camels as a means of transport for thousands of years, and for good reason. They can carry about 375 to 600 pounds on their backs. This earned these beasts of burden a nickname ships of the desert, and it's no surprise when one of these unusual animals gets a little attached to its owner, like in this video. The camel had apparently met up with its beloved owner after a few days. The owner in question had to be away from his herd, and the video of them reuniting has gone viral. The seven-second clip shows the desert animal curling up to its owner. On his return, the camel showered him with love, and oddly, did you know that camels are known for spitting on people? It's true. This is a defense tactic when the animal feels threatened. Just not this camel who clearly loves his human. Most camels tower above us and can grow to a shoulder height of 6 feet, long neck not included, and a body length of 10 feet. They normally weigh between 1,300 and 2,200 pounds when they're fully grown. They're a very social animal and like to greet each other by blowing in each other's faces. The large beasts make a variety of moans, groans, and deep, throaty bellows and one of the camel's noises was even used to voice the character Chewbacca in the Star Wars movies. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. We're not entirely sure if this picture is a joyful reunion or a cow attacking a human, but it does make us wonder about cows and humans bonding. Cows are intelligent, emotional, and affectionate creatures who form strong social bonds within their herd and with humans. They have strong social hierarchies within their herd and even have their very own cow best friends. They're extremely emotionally intelligent, much more than we give them credit for, and they can love humans too. Cows show their affection with cute and friendly behavior, much like a dog would. For example, by following you around, licking you, and letting you pet them. And judging by this pic, this cow is excited to see his human. But never forget that cows can be moody and sensitive. They may dislike certain individuals and can hold a grudge for years against other cows and people who have crossed them. Could you see yourself being besties with a cow? Use the hashtag missing topic with your comments and share your ideas with the world. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Dog recognizes soldier. When a soldier in the military leaves for deployment, they're deeply missed by their loved ones back at home. Oftentimes, it's for many months, but it does make their homecoming that much sweeter. And as you can see, humans aren't the only ones who miss their deployed family members. One dad managed to capture one of these touching reunions on film, only it didn't start out quite like some of the others. A dog named Psycho was just a puppy when her human sibling left to serve overseas. After a year, she finally returned home and was thrilled to reunite with her loved ones, including Psycho. Yet, since the pooch was so young at the time, would she even remember the soldier? <laughs> yes, indeed. Psycho isn't too happy with the stranger at first. Pets can often be sad not having their buddy around anymore, giving them cuddles, or throwing the ball. So it makes sense that they, too, can become extremely excited when they finally walk through the door. German Shepherds are naturally protective of their family members, so it's not surprising that the dog's initial response is to bark, who she doesn't seem to recognize after their year apart. Several moments later, it all changes. The German Shepherd sniffs her human sister and eventually, the love is real. <laughs> The Lion King. This animal lover not only left his well-paying job, but also sold all his belongings to move to Africa to be with wild animals. This move from the lap of luxury in Switzerland into the African animal kingdom aptly proved Dean Schneider's dedication to protecting wildlife. This was his idea to live his dream. The reason why he left his job as a financial planner, traveled to South Africa, and set up his animal sanctuary. It's also why he's known as the Lion King. What motivated Schneider to take this bold step was his fascination for animals from his very 
very childhood. He firmly believed that people should respect animals, nature, and behavior. This is what drove him to make animal protection an important part of his life. Once Snyder set up his animal sanctuary, he got down to understanding the nature of various wild animals that he encountered and tried to build a special bond with each one of them. These lions can't get enough of him, and today he educates people by revealing the beauty of these amazing creatures through his social media. People adore wild animals, but this animal lover has made it his mission to bring them into people's hearts, and these lions seem very happy to be friends with this kind man. <laughs> Loyal Goose Who says house pets are the only animals that adore and protect their humans? Meet Wally, the goose. Are you surprised to learn that a goose can be kept as a pet? Well, geese can be wonderful pets or companions. Because he was raised as a chick by people, Wally is especially protective of his human, and as you can see, it's a love fest. Wally is a happy and delightful goose according to his owner, but not everyone has that experience. Geese, like dogs, can be trained, are extremely intelligent, and create close ties with their owners. But they can also be hostile and can be violent in certain conditions. When Wally is done with his humans, he's not so receptive to the person filming the reunion. Geese can get pretty aggressive. They can't easily hide when threatened, so they resort to aggression to ward off danger. The best way to avoid aggression aimed in your direction is to take time to greet your geese whenever you enter their yard. Notice how they gobble and posture while greeting one another. It's the polite thing to do. It's the goose equivalent of humans shaking hands. Geese are extremely social creatures. Plus, they always hang around with other geese in the wild as well. But Wally isn't in love with anyone but his owner. <laughs> Cheetah Whisperer There are some people out there who love animals so much that they'll do anything to be near them, regardless of how dangerous it is. As you're about to find out, wildlife photographer Dolph Volker is one of those people. He lives in America but has volunteered at this cheetah breeding center in South Africa on and off for years. It was there that he formed a special bond with one of the predators named Gabriel. Dolph first met the cheetah when he was just eight months old and the pair formed a special bond. During his time at the sanctuary, he even managed to hand feed Gabriel and spend the entire night sleeping next to him out in the open. Now, whenever Dolph returns to South Africa, he's greeted with hugs and licks from his buddy. The nonprofit Cheetah Breeding Center also takes care of other large cats like this, and recently, Dolph was thrilled to find out that he can make his bond with Gabriel extra special by officially buying him from the sanctuary and becoming his legal owner. This official status allows Dolph to enter Gabriel's enclosure whenever he visits and can receive up-to-date progress reports. Whoever said cats aren't friendly animals has obviously never met this man and his best friend. <laughs> Bunny Welcome Dogs are known for being lovable and friendly pets. Even cats, despite their reputation, are often very cuddly and affectionate animals. Rabbits are adorable pets too. But do they show affection like other animals? It looks like it, if this video is any indication. But this is no ordinary rabbit. Benny the Bunny is known for a series of videos posted on the internet. Benny is referred to by the media and fans as the only rabbit in the world who can paint, play basketball, play the guitar and piano, and comb and style hair. And after his owner returned home from a long trip, Benny greets him with excitement. They have a very special bond, and he runs after him the minute he returned from a long trip away. So, do rabbits love their owners? It appears so. Rabbits can be very affectionate pets if they're given the chance. They're very social and enjoy spending time with their human companions. Once you've gained a rabbit's trust, they'll start to show you how much they love you in their own bunny ways. Since rabbits are a less popular pet, most people don't know what to expect when they bring a bunny home. Condor Friends the man in the video rescued this condor when it fell from its nest as a baby, and the touching bond between them has been captured in this heartwarming video. Recorded in Argentina, the condor walks up to the man for a hug and is seen nuzzling him affectionately. The human, named Edgar, is a simple rancher from Argentina who's currently living his best life moment by befriending a bird. And not just any bird, but a massive condor whom he found in the yard of his house and had been helping to grow. According to Edgardo's cousin, who posted the film online, Edgardo felt sorry for the chick when he found it on the ground and decided to look 
after it. While the rancher is excited about the whole story, he reiterated that he was not trying to domesticate the bird as the condor belongs in the wild. After being rescued, the condor, the largest bird in North America, was then able to learn how to fly and return to normal life and the huge bird cleanly didn't forget his rescuer. The pair come together for a big embrace when the condor returned. It keeps appearing, but less and less, which is what we expected, he said. Still, the rancher is happy he was able to help the bird. <laughs> Christian the Lion the grainy film first appeared on YouTube years ago. Since then, it's melted millions of hearts. A fully grown male lion hugs two young men like an over-enthusiastic kitten. The moving reunion of the men with their pet took place a year after they left him in the African bush. In 1969, John Rendell and his friend Anthony Ace Bork came across a lion cub in a shop that traded in exotic animals. They fell in love with the cub and took him home and named him Christian. He lived with them in a furniture shop where he had a giant tray of cat litter and rarely ruined the store's furniture. He played with local children in the walled garden of a churchyard. He was fed steak and taken to restaurants and glamorous parties in the back of their Mercedes. But the cat was eventually reintroduced to the wild. This reunion footage shows the lion at first cautiously approach and then quickly leap playfully into the two men, standing on his hind legs and wrapping his front legs around their shoulders, nuzzling their faces. The lion now had two lionesses, Mona and Lisa, and a foster cub, a brand new life in the wild. The scratchy, homemade film was shot in Kenya 50 years ago and has been seen by more than 100 million people since going viral. <laughs> Chimp Reunited Limbani is a lovable, insta-famous chimpanzee from a wildlife foundation in Florida, but his life got off to a rough start. This chimp was initially rejected by his mother as a baby after being born with pneumonia, so Tanya and Jorge Sanchez became his caretakers during the first few months of his life before he was handed back to the wildlife foundation. However, the couple clearly left an impression on him, as you can see. The chimpanzee was outside when the couple arrived. Limbani made joyful grunting noises as he ran straight into the woman's arms. After hugging her, he leaped from the ground and went in for a hug for her spouse. He never forgets his human handlers. They can go without seeing him for a couple of months, even in his reaction is always the same. And cameras captured what a Limbani reunion looks like. Years may pass, but the love is always there. The foundation where Limbani lives was created to educate the public on rare and endangered animals like this. He's currently 40 to 45 pounds, but will grow to 90 to 100 pounds as he reaches adulthood and may live as long as 60 to 70 years. And their friendship can only grow. Seal Best Friend Vincent Fejeran was fishing near the Coronado Bridge in San Diego, California recently when he says a sea lion jumped onto his kayak. It refused to leave for nearly an hour. The baby sea lion was so comfortable that he even let the fishermen take video and several pictures of them together during their meeting. In the video, the adorable sea lion rests his head on the fisherman's shoulder, looking a little bit sleepy. Anybody looking for a seal? I seem to have acquired one, he jokes in the video. He mistook the small mammal for a seal when in fact it was a sea lion. Sea lions and their babies are found in every ocean except the Atlantic. Baby sea lions are usually born on land, but it isn't rare for them to be born in the water. They can't swim until they're a couple of months old, but they can paddle, scratch, and walk as soon as they're out of the womb. They're intelligent and playful creatures. That's why they can easily be taught tricks, like playing with balls and hoops in zoos. But friendship seems to be natural for this baby sea lion. He says the sea lion locked on to him for 45 minutes and refused to leave even when he kayaked back to shore. He was eventually able to lure him back into the water with food. <laughs> Rambo comes home. The alligator is something of a celebrity in Lakeland, Florida, famous for its outfits, which change with the seasons. Mary Thorne had been caring for Rambo for more than a decade. Thorne trained Rambo and ran a business where he appeared at parties and other events. Social media is full of images of people holding and cuddling Rambo, who appears in a wide range of outfits. She considers Rambo family. He was a rescue animal who entered her life after a plastic tub was dropped off at a wrestling school she ran. Inside, she found five alligators in a pool of shallow water, packed so tightly together that all they could do was rock side to side on their malnourished limbs. 
Rambo was the lone survivor, but at 5 feet 8 inches, Rambo had grown large enough that local fish and wildlife conservation was concerned that he didn't have enough space in her human's house. However, news that Rambo might be separated from her home prompted online petitions and declarations of support, and the state granted permission to keep her trained gator. Now, the two will be able to stay together, but the public appearances would have to stop under her new agreement with the state of Florida. Thorne would also have to cage him and tape his mouth shut any time he leaves her house. Sheepdog returns home. The story begins in Idaho when a border collie was in his family's vehicle when there was an accident. Everyone was fine except Tilly the dog was nowhere to be found. The dog had fled the scene immediately following the accident. The family posted all over social media with a picture of Tilly and thousands of people shared the post. The search was on. You can probably guess where they found him. The dog had vanished for two days after being ejected from the vehicle and was found doing the job it was bred to do, herding sheep. The dog had indeed fled, but afterward he did what he naturally knew what to do. Tilly had been seen herding sheep nearby. Another family recognized the dog in the photos on social media as the same dog they saw on their family farm. Border Collies make particularly good herders thanks to their independence and intelligence. The need to herd is deeply ingrained in these dogs, so much so that some Collie owners actually rent sheep for their pets to corral. Dogs are pretty smart as a species in general, but no breed can beat the Border Collie in intelligence. These bright pooches were bred to be independent problem solvers capable of solving complex tasks just like Tilly. <laughs> Casper rides the bus. This cat attracted worldwide media when it was reported that he was regularly riding the bus in Devon, England. He appeared on television, was the subject of many newspaper editorials, and had a book written about him. Why, you ask? When Casper's owner went to work each day, she had no idea what the cat was doing while she was away. It took seven years before she discovered that Casper was riding the bus. Yeah, that's right, the fluffy but adventurous pet would politely line up behind other passengers at the bus stop outside his home, then quietly trot on board and curl up on a seat for the ride. But far from causing mischief, he proved a hit with drivers and customers too, who always made sure he returned home safely. Casper was adopted from an animal rescue center. His owner soon discovered that he was not afraid of people or traffic, and it was not long before she started hearing reports that he was visiting nearby businesses for attention. Soon after, a bus driver told her that Casper would politely line up along with other passengers at the bus stop opposite her house, and when a bus came, he would get on and jump on his favorite seat. Casper would remain on the bus for its 11-mile road trip to the city center and back to the bus stop opposite his house. <laughs> baby and mom reunited. It took a little effort, but this baby deer stuck between a fence and a shed was saved in the nick of time to reunite with her mom. Many doe give birth to single fawns, twins or triplets in spring. A fawn is born weighing in at about 5 pounds and will boast a beautiful red coat. This shade helps it blend in with its natural habitat, the forest. The white spots will slowly start to fade away as the fawn reaches 5 months of age and begins to go through his first moat, which is when he develops his winter coat. However, sometimes a doe has to leave her babies in order to bring food back for them. This means that a fawn may be left alone for short periods of time. And even though this kind human succeeds in freeing the baby deer, this can be tricky. On occasion, when a curious human tries to touch or pet the fawn, the mother might abandon her baby. So typically, this is strongly discouraged because deer tend to stay away from areas where they sense predators or humans and may wait for a longer period of time until they believe the coast is clear to finally return to their babies. Experts suggest leaving the fawn in the area she was originally found. A doe will accept her fawn even if it's been missing for up to 48 hours. This mama deer seems very relieved and the human's kindness worked. Ducks out the drain. These firefighters in Arizona have saved some lives recently. However, they were not human lives. The city of Gilbert shared a video that showed firefighters working to save a group of ducklings stuck in a subdivision storm drain. Each spring, like clockwork, the 911 calls start pouring in from various points around some cities. Firefighters grab special equipment and rush to the scene which, in most of these types of cases, is one of the city's many sewer drains. There are ducklings in distress and firefighters to the rescue. Unfortunately, 
Drains like this can be dangerous for the birds. It probably has to do with how the ducklings follow their parents around at the beginning of their lives. The birds cross the road and are often too small to get up over the curb, so they just walk alongside it. Then when they come across a storm drain, it's difficult for them to cross since the drain grates are bigger than they are. So when the birds try to waddle across it, they fall through the grates and into the storm sewer. But thanks to some kind-hearted first responders, this was going to be a happy ending. The mother duck watched nearby and quacked to her children while the crew carefully plucked the ducks from the sewer. Is your faith in humanity restored? How could it not be? That's the thing about videos of adorable animals. Like the people in these clips, we can't help but want to hug our pets a little closer. Don't you agree? Like and subscribe if you do, and share the love with your human pals. Mm-hmm. <laughs>